What really separates real photographers from snapshot or picture takers is um, their ability to uh, find the correct lighting, composition, and to tell a story. And uh, we, you know, in a world where we're all so uh, accustomed to just walking around and taking pictures of anything that we see, slowing down a little bit and actually working in your composition, working in correct lighting, and creating depth in your images is something that separates photographers from picture takers. Can a photographer use a cell phone? Um, there's no right or wrong. I'm not here to tell, tell any photographer that they can't use a cell phone. All, all I'll say is they're very much limiting themselves. I, I think a lot of the cell phone photography that you look at, and there are some folks who have had some stuff printed with cell phones, but um, it's, it's going to be a more limited structure as to what you're able to shoot. You're certainly going to struggle with lower lighting scenarios. You're going to struggle with depth of field. You're going to struggle with things of that nature. But I will say cell phones are progressing at a rapid rate, which is why I tell photographers that they need to learn their gear and know how to use great lenses so they're able to get results that cell phones can't get. If you're not going to do photojournalism the, the way it's intended, then just don't do it. Be a, anything outside of a photojournalist, be a editorial or a fashion photographer or something of that nature, but please don't fake shots. I mean, if there's anything that I'm big on, it's not faking what I do. It's actually one of the reasons why I started recording and posting so many videos, because people thought my shots were fake, and I wanted to show the world, no, this is the actual moment I took this shot. So if you're a photojournalist and you're faking stuff, just please do us all a favor and get out of the business. I'm big on using light, light. because I believe photographers should be I mean, what is the definition of photography? It's painting with light. Yet now in the industry, the, 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 the common conception is that we're just going to do all natural light photography. If that continues, it will continue to degrade and bring down the overall price and quality uh, component to what we do as photographers. We will devalue ourselves and we will not be able to make money because we will not do anything that a, natural, that a regular person can't do with a cell phone. So if you don't learn lighting, then you are honestly hurting yourself more than anyone else. The photographers, in large part, who make the most amount of money know how to light, either with natural light, artificial light, or anything else. But I mean, diffusers, reflectors, everything else, the fact that photographers don't take the time, the fact that some photographers don't take the time to learn lighting, I'm not angry about it at all. I just think that they're hurting themselves more than anyone else. Obviously, I'm a Sony guy, uh, and so I shoot Sony because I believe in it wholeheartedly. I shoot Sony because of the fact that it gives us the technological advances that we've been waiting for. Um, I think DSLRs are definitely on the decline. Uh, and if you're a DSLR shooter, don't take offense to that. It's just like when film was taken over by DSLRs, and DSLRs are being taken over by mirrorless. It's just happening. And so, uh, you know, places like the U.S., it's happening at a rapid rate. So uh, I think that's going to continue around the world. And I also think that, um, you know, using this mirrorless technology, just the, the advantages, and I, I know I, I sound like a broken record, but the focus systems on these cameras is the game changer. And the in-body image stabilization, being able to use those things to create your shots and not miss shots is what makes Sony my choice. Has nothing to do with sponsorship, has everything to do with the results that I'm able to get with it. Cool.